Hello everyone, it's Shiny Sparky14, and welcome back to more Final Fantasy 1 Anniversary Edition. So why am I in a battle? That's a good question, it's because these are new enemies. On my way back, I actually ran into these, and because I was going to record two videos in a row, I decided, you know what, why not actually show these off. So yeah, these guys are called Berettas. Um, I believe that they are easier versions of Desert Berettas, at least that's, how they, that's what they seem like, but there you go. Berettas. Let's go ahead and open up Configuration Bestiary. And then move down, and right here, Beretta. HP 256, attack 60, okay, weakness, no resistance, none. But anyways, there is the Beretta, a new enemy. Funny how we encounter desert Berettas, but not Berettas. Anyways, here is her airship. As you can see, I was close to going back to the airship, very close. But I encountered that enemy, eh, that enemy. Anyways, um... This is the place right here where we want to go to the monster. The problem is that you can't actually land on the desert. You cannot land anywhere except on the plain grass, you know, in one second. Let me just make sure something on the computer. Okay, it's all good. So the closest place would be probably right here. No, 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 right there. One space down. Right here and then move this way. So one thing I should do first is actually go ahead and heal up. Let's get some cures going. And basically heal up everybody because you guys all need some help. Okay, there we go. You could use another one. You could use one. You could use two. Okay, there we go. Well, now let's, now let's keep going. The Mirage Tower is up here, as you kind of already know, because I just showed it. Oh, right there. Never mind. Really? Didn't encounter? Let me encounter one, one enemy. Because I kind of want to see if there are new enemies. No, that's a Desert Beretta. I think there are some new enemies in here, but, uh, I guess I'll just come back to you later. I mean, I will be showing off every single enemy in the best here, you know, like, if I miss some entries, I will be showing them near the end of the game, you know, like, I'll be going to their actual places where they, where they can spawn, you know, and showing them, and then briefly showing them on, you know, for the stats on the best here. Anyways, here's the Mirage Tower. As I said before, you cannot enter here without the chime, so... The exit, or at least the exit to the second floor, is right over there. All you have to do is go out here and then go down that door to the left. However, if you're interested in treasures, you want to keep going up. Because there is something good, or a lot of good things. You see all that? Yes. That's a lot of juicy treasures, but there are encounters in the Mirage Tower. These are called Guardians. Oh, interesting, interesting. Let's see. 12 damage. That, do those stun you? It looks like they have the capability to stun you if they attack you, although I'm not 100% sure. Anyways, Guardians down. They have some pretty good defense, as you kind of saw. There we go. Uh, I might as well go ahead and show these off. Why not? We have now encountered 47% of the best cherry. Wow. Okay. So, Guardian. 200 HP. Nice. Not a lot of HP. Weakness, Lightning. Okay. So, right over here are all the treasures, and, well, we basically want to go down. Are there fixed encounters here? I'm not really sure. But we'll see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, you want to be very, very careful here, okay? Jesus. Um. Could even attack you. Why not? And then you can go ahead and set up a Fire Raga. I don't know if they're weak against fire. The gaze of the Medusas is very, very intimidating, as you already know. If they stone you, man, will it be hell. Okay, Medusa's down. That's good. That's very good. And now Sabretooth will be going down right now. No new enemies there, though. Oh, well. A thousand experience. One thing I didn't do in between parts is actually save. I'm going to go ahead and put a save right here. Okay. 800 gil. Alrighty. Oh, wait. That is a fixed me... Wait, is it? It is. It is a fixed encounter. Oh, okay. You attack that. You attack that. And then you can go ahead and use a Fire Raga to kill off the Medusas. Yeah, because I encountered the same mix of enemies in that same spot, right? Or was it one step higher? No, I'm pretty sure it was the same spot. And the Fyraga should kill off all of the Medusas. And we'll be getting even more experience this time around. Close to 1,500, I'm guessing. 1,470, yeah, I, I was right. Okay. And here's another treasure chest. Okay, healing helm, whatever. No fixed encounter here, though. That's, that's good. 3,400 gil. Vorpal sword. I'm going to go ahead and see the stats on that. Is a fixed encounter? I don't even know what's a fixed encounter anymore. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What in the hell is that? Chimera, huh? 
Blaze? Is that is that thing powerful? Oh damn. Uh it's it's average. It's average. Alrighty, there we go. Chimera down. Now just one more. Yes, yeah, so these guys do have some pretty good stats up there. Now you are kind of starting to see that the enemies are in fact getting tougher. Chimera's down, okay. Who's experience? 1,000 for two. It looks like you gained a level. Nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and enter the best cherry once again and show off the new enemies. Chimera. 300 HP each. Okay, weakness ice. I will keep that in mind. Okay. Over here there are two more treasure chests. Aegis shield and 2750 gil. And, um, okay, there's one new enemy there. At least I think so, right? Yeah, that, that should be a new enemy. First off, let's deal with the nightmares. I'm not really sure what the hell the Black Knight does, but we'll see. One damage, wow. Alright, nightmare down. Hopefully, John can one shot the nightmare. No, you didn't. Damn, okay. Gonna go ahead and attack that. You can just defend again. No need to be wasting time for healing right now. Okay, Black Knight got hit 222 and still survives, so they have pretty decent HP then. Let's see if you die with this. Yes, you did. Alright, but yeah, we killed a Black Knight. 951 experience, is that what it said? I think so. So, going down, we're gonna encounter yet another new enemy, Black Knight. 260 HP, okay, you can drop a Deathbringer. Whoa, now that sounds very, whoa, intimidating. Tent, okay, so, now that we got some stuff, let's go ahead and see if there are improvements. Okay, first off, we got an Aegis Shield, is that better? Same stats are Shield like Guards against Stone, whereas mine is, Ice Shield is worse. A Shield made of Diamond, okay, that means mine is better, or the Aegis Shield, I mean, yeah. Uh, Giant's Glove, no. Protect Ring, Diamond Helm. Healing Helm. A helm that casts heal when used, no. Oh, we also got a Vorpal Sword, I forgot about that. Let's go ahead and try that out. Stats are not as good. But let's see if um, Yugi can make good use of it. No, it's actually weaker, okay. Well, there we go. So that is all for this first floor. Once you have all those treasures, you can simply go down to the next floor. And that's kind of what I'm going to be doing. Whoa, vampires. Hey guys, remember these guys? Oh, I'm pretty sure you do. Yeah, funny thing is that this was actually like a fool boss, you know, a fake boss. But yeah, now we're actually fighting them as normal enemies. Pretty interesting. Pretty funny too, I must say. Pretty funny. No, no, don't you dare. God damn, he's going to get stoned. Oh, you missed, okay. Well, damn, 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 that's good. Okay, 600 XP, yeah, okay, and thank you. In the level. Alright, so as I said, if, you, if you're not interested in treasures, just go here and on to the next floor. Now we are in the Mirage Tower, second floor. In this one, we're all the way at the very bottom. All the way at the bottom. What you want to do here is do a big, big, big long circle. Whoa, no, don't be wasting steps, dude. I accidentally moved left and I wanted to go up. Okay, getting lucky here with no encounters, never mind. Okay, and okay, more of these tough enemies, I, I, I guess. I guess you could call them that. 371, you're down in one shot. Shot, thank you. 266, and okay, that means a one turn. Yeah, there we go. That is nice, that is nice. 1,000 experience, about 1,000, okay. And here you want to go down, or like, I mean, not down, like take the lower path. And then, what the hell, really? Alright, I guess if I encounter more Chimeras, I will probably cut now because by this point you guys get it. You guys have seen enough of these guys. Okay, another 1000 experience, nice. Alright. So in here is... Oh no, wait, wait, wait. Right there are the stairs actually, my bad, I'm getting confused there. The stairs, one, should all oh, just leave that in I guess. Why not? It's just one, it's not going to take us long. But if I start encountering a lot of ones, you know, like ones and yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and of course cut that okay no too many damn encounters man hell no actually actually that's not bad because I have Diaga the very powerful Diaga just in case I also have Fyraga because you're weak against fire vampires hate to burn okay just please 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 
Alright, there we go. Please one shot him. They're weak against fire, I should help. No, that's not gonna be enough. Alright, the Diago will get him though. Oh damn. Don't you dare, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say don't hit Alyssa. And you miss with gaze, wow. Diago will get him, right? Yes, yes they did. Yes, I guess they did. 1500 experience. Shiny gained a level, okay. Yugi gained a level, nice, okay. So right here, you want to go to the right. Because, wait a minute, how do I go? Oh, right, that's right. The stairs are actually up there, you saw them. You saw them. Guardians, we've only encountered these like one time or something, so I guess I'll keep, keep these in. Keep these in. Keep these in. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Guardians down, just like that. 612 experience, whatever. Okay. And here, um, yeah, that's where you want to go. You want to enter the big door room in the middle, whatever you want to call that. Okay. Now here, I don't know if there's fixed encounters or there probably is, I don't know. Vampires, I'm just gonna cut this. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so we should go ahead and heal because we took quite a beating from that battle. Vampires are actually still hitting pretty hard, believe it or not. Kind of, kind of uh, impressed, pretty interesting that they are still that powerful. Okay, there we go, that's enough healing for now. Anyways, the point of coming in here was for all these treasures, so... Gonna take a while to get all these treasures, but hey, they are very well worth it. Thor's hammer. Whoa, what the hell is that, Mjolnir? Oh man, we just got Mjolnir. Can you believe that? We got Mjolnir, okay. Dude, that better not be a damn fixed encounter. It's only two, I can handle these. Let's see, this is gonna take a long time. Maybe it will, I don't know. All right, one shot him, one shot him. 306, is that enough? Yes, that was enough damage. Thank you. That's still a lot of gil, man. 4,000 gil. Sunblade, that sounds very cool. All right, so we got Thor's Hammer, Sunblade, oh, and now Dragon Mail. Let's go ahead and see if those are some improvements. That one's not. Mail Fashion from Dragon Scales, whereas mine... Kind of the same thing, really. Um, But can anyone else equip? Let's see. No, you can't. What if I give you Diamond Armor? Can you equip the Dragon? No, you can't. Same thing, really. I'm just gonna go ahead and give you Dragon Mail, I guess. Sounds cooler, maybe. We also got Thor's Hammer. Can you equip Thor's Hammer? Yes, you can. It's an improvement. So you're gonna be getting Thor's Hammer. Okay, you are now... You are now holding Mjolnir. Okay. Um, what was the other thing? The sword? No, no, wait. Yeah, Sunblade, that's right. That's an improvement. 42. What about compared to this? That's an improvement, too. You lose 5 accuracy, though. And you, let's see, huh, rather give it a you, because you get an improvement on both, okay. All of them there, so now we just want to get out of here, go all the way back up, and if I keep, oh my god, I'm just going to cut this, it's going to be a long battle. Okay, we took care of that, now we have to go all the way up. Going back up to the stairs, another damn encounter, man. Whoa, hellhounds. Now, we've, you've already seen enough of these guys, man, before. I'm not going to show this. Okay, so, um, we've been taking some pretty decent damage here and there. i got to heal up again. As you can see, the enemies are definitely no pushovers in here because they are doing some pretty good damage, man. I'm just going to tell you that. They really are. Okay, the stairs are kind of close. Right up. Hello there, robot. Damn it, another damn encounter. You gotta be kidding me. I'm just gonna cut this once again. God, we've already seen all these. Okay, so let's see what you gotta say. Our friend left on the journey to the west. He took the warp cube and went to see our master. This is where the warp cube becomes a necessity, okay? Not that not that early in the game. Where I, well, early in the game. It really was only one dungeon beforehand that I got it. But yeah. By now is when you actually need the warp cube and another damn cut. Ulyssia gained a level, yes. Okay. Sorry about all these cuts, guys, but man. Oh my god, are you kidding? Okay. Really? Oh my god. Oh man, okay, as I was saying, sorry about all these cuts. Okay, this one's probably a fixed encounter, right? Yes, it is, okay. Blue Dragon. Um, okay, no need for that. Yeah, just so many monsters, and I don't want to, I mean, they're the same ones we've seen plenty of times. I just don't want to be... Showing them all, you know, like every single battle, because I'm pretty sure you guys will get bored of it. That's why I'm cutting them. Okay, we got a level up there, and a new entry in the bestiary, so let's go ahead and see. Blue Dragon, 
454 HP. Okay, let's see compared to the other guy. Alright, well, it is tougher, the blue dragon. But yeah, there we go. So, here is this dude. Use the work to the trouble beyond this guy. Yeah, okay. So, let's go. Once you go in here, we're going to be taken to a place known as the Flying Fortress. However, we will begin this dungeon in the next video, okay? Pretty long dungeon, pretty difficult, actually. And yeah, so thank you for watching and goodbye everybody and until next time.